So the third video in our series about working with spirit guides and spirit beings is about all about animals. And I love working with animals. Animals are some of the most light beings on the planet. Um, they obviously experience the duality uh, that we do. Um, but for those of you that have worked with animals and love animals, you understand that they are very often of a higher fre frequency and that they are wonderful messengers. And so when we talk about working with animals, what are we talking about? Well, for some of us, when we talk about working with guides or, or beings in spirit, a lot of times uh, there are many people who feel more comfortable working and seeing and visualizing animals. I have had clients as they go through their intuition, all they ever see are animals. They never see people because they're very distrusting of people and rightfully so. So when we talk about animal totems or animal spirit helpers, what are we really talking about? We're talking about uh, either wild animals or animals that have actually been your pet. I have known people that have spirit guides and animals around them that have been pets of theirs. They're, they love animals. They have lots of pets, lots of, you know, birds and bunnies and rabbits and cats and uh, horses and, uh, you know, all kinds of animals. So um, when you go into work with animal energy or if you're trying to access a spirit guide and you see an animal, that's a wonderful, loving, benevolent sign for you. They're very comforting. And it sometimes they give you a direct message and sometimes the animal, because of uh, what they represent, bring a very specific energy in with it. There are lots of books um, out there. Uh, uh, animal Speaks by Ted Andrews is a classic um, about animal totems and animal spirit energy and what happens when you see animals. And so what I like to say to people is like, if you are doing a visualization or, or a meditation and or you just love turtles, or you just love bears, or you saw a giant stag, or you keep seeing whales everywhere. Those animals are bringing you messages, whether indirectly or through, uh, like through the symbolism of what they represent, or directly um, because of who they are and how they work with you. I work with a lot of whales. Um, when I do a lot of guided meditations for myself to go get information, I always end up riding on the back of a whale. When I go out into the ocean and I'm anywhere near whales on some sort of ship, a whale. I I always see a whale. They always show up for me, uh, which is pretty awesome. So I'll say to you, um, when you go in and if you do any sort of meditation and you see animals, keep in mind it, it can mean many, many different things. For those of you that are interested in practicing shamanism or you have a, um, you know, ancestral tradition of studying animals, animals mean different things in many cultures. Um, depending on, you know, your sort of religious or, uh, you know, background, you can have animals meaning different things for that. So it's just a, you know, context is everything for how you see and view them. So it's really lovely to go and do a whole journey, uh, into your spirit world and look for animals and let them, let animals speak to you. If you keep seeing, uh, a, you know, a fox on TV, a fox on a billboard, you see a fox in person, there's a sign there for you. And you may want to look and see what that means. Um, some of you have lots and lots of animals and you're seeing signs all the time. And, you know, there are many of you who can communicate with animals. I mean, I, I've learned to communicate with animals. My cat who just passed away taught me so much and he's still around bossing me around from the other side. So, you know, keep in mind that animals are communicating with you too. And, you know, we all have consciousness. It's just in a different dimension. So um, really let yourself open up to the world of animals and you can learn a lot about spiritual connection. I believe that lots of us learn how to love when we're children from our cats and dogs and rabbits and birds and, you know, fish and horses or whatever, because we're not learning it from other people. So keep in mind that animals not only are great spirit messengers, they're also beings teaching you how to be a better human. So I'm Beth Ann Kennedy. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this video. Uh, you can follow me on Pink Heart Healing, all forms of social media, and stay tuned for the next video in the series coming up. And thank you and have a wonderful day.